There's a multitude of ways to build out digital products on Kajabi. There's online courses, there's modular courses, there's strip courses, there's mini courses, getting a link to build a community inside Kajabi. There's tons of things. And if that's not enough, Kajabi has added another yet again, newsletters. This is really, really cool. And it's in beta right now, but I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to actually build a newsletter inside Kajabi. Just a reminder to check out ReviewOnlineCourse.com. It's a collection of all my software reviews, the pros, the cons of each platform to help you decide which one's right for you. And just remember, if you decide to use any of my links to trial platform like Kajabi, Think Ethic, or Teachable, and so on, you get a free pair of Apple AirPods as my way of saying thank you. Check the description box below for more details. Anyways, back to the video. All right, so if you take a look here, you can see I'm in the back end of Kajabi and you can see right here, there is a notification introducing three new products. So what those new products are is coaching, podcasts, and also newsletters. Now, you won't see it over here. You won't see um, newsletters underneath products yet. If you do click on products, you just get podcasts, but eventually you'll see coaching down here and eventually you'll see newsletters. Um, but I'm gonna kind of show you a couple things that are a little bit beta tested and um, just share that with you and we'll kind of go through that together. But what's really, really cool about newsletters is this awesome opportunity to build something new, build something fresh, build something that you're subscribers, your audience has never seen before. Now, what's unique about newsletters versus, um, let's just say an email broadcast, is that you can send out a newsletter on a specific day, every single Wednesday, every single, you know, you can kind of have a little bit of a time schedule that matches up with what you're trying to do. When you deal with maybe, let's just say email sequences, it's a little bit more tricky because let's just say someone opt in on day one, and then day 15, they're going to get an email and then day 22. And if someone else opted in a few days later, they're on a kind of a different time frame than someone who actually opts in for a newsletter and gets that newsletter every Wednesday. So it's a good way to keep everybody up to date, especially if you have knowledge or kind of sharing information that's more current events and it's more relevant to what's going on. And it's maybe not as evergreen. Sometimes you know, if we're talking about maybe cryptocurrencies, and there's certain things happening in the market, people wanna be informed about that right now. They don't really care. Two years from now, it won't matter what Bitcoin's price will be. So it's, it's really important to know kind of your audience and know what best serves them. So if you have a newsletter, you can make it free or you can actually even charge for it. If you, I've noticed I was subscribed to a, um, a YouTube channel that was actually cryptocurrency and they had a newsletter that you could pay for. So I wanted that information because I was trying to trade cryptocurrencies in real time. So I wanted that newsletter and I think it was like $50 a month. And I stayed, I think I stayed on for like three or four months. So let's take a look um, of the beta version of newsletters and what that looks like. As you can see right here with products, we've got all products, we've got the podcast, we've got the coaching and the newsletters. This isn't necessarily exactly how it's gonna look, but this is the beta version that they've rolled out just to kind of give us an understanding of what it could possibly look at. So um, if we were going to make one about finances, all about a 401k, right? That's gonna be your newsletter and it's gonna share some information about actually you know, being able to save money in your 401k. You could have 10 members in there. It's going to tell you exactly how many members. This is exactly what it's going to look like on the back. No, this is not exactly what it's going to look like on the back end, but this gives you an idea when it was created, how many issue, uh, issues you're going to be issuing out, and how many members are in that newsletter. So you can imagine you could have two, three, four, or five just right sitting in here and living in here. And what's cool is when you buy a newsletter, it actually goes into your product, into the your customer's product section. Unlike an email that wouldn't do that, they have an ability to kind of refer back to it at any point in time. So if you are giving out evergreen information, it's cool to go back and check that out. So let's just kind of roll through this and see. If we were to click there and we were to actually add an issue, we would type it out, say why it's important, we would create that issue, and then it would appear right here. So if you can see, you know, we've got an internal title, we've got a subject matter, we've got the preview text, and we can write the content right there in that subject box that's in this area right here, and even choose an image to go along with that newsletter. So this gives you an idea of what it kind of looks on the back end. So if you were to preview this, 
it would give you an idea of, oh, wow, here we are. And we just talked about it being in the library and here it is in the library. It'll be right here, the new newsletter. And you'll give the date and it'll be check out the latest issue. And it'll be right there and it will always live in your customer's library, which is a really cool feature um, because they're not gonna lose it. They can click on offers and this is really cool because now you can actually determine how much you wanna charge. If you actually wanted to go over here, change the pricing, may make it free, maybe allow um, yourself to have a no newsletter to build an audience and then your customers are more likely to actually buy an online course from you at a later date because you've cultivated them, you've had an indoctrination process with that newsletter or vice versa. Perhaps you actually have a membership site, but you want something that's a little bit more relevant, a little bit more personal. You want to send them to actually an opportunity to pay, have a paywall in front of your newsletter. So kind of like what that YouTuber did that with cryptocurrency. So right there is a pretty cool way of seeing the behind the scenes of what this would look like. You also can choose what type of payment. You don't have to necessarily do um, a one-time payment. You could have it on a subscription model or even do multiple payments. So really cool opportunity to really customize your newsletters on the back end of Kajabi. So I hope that helps you understand exactly what to do when it comes to building out a newsletter and leave any comments down below. As always, I love getting back to you guys and I will see you in the next one.